Well, looks like the uh, wife found a project for me. This is going to be an interesting one. The uh, It was $10 on Craigslist, and apparently it's going to be a TV cabinet when I get done with it. I've got some work ahead of me. Wow. Welcome to Coffee and Tools. <laughs> Hi folks, yeah, that wasn't a very good uh, sh shot of that new table that I'm gonna deal with. I've got a shot here, uh, sort of a walk around clip. I'll just show it to you right now so you can see sort of what I started with, because I've already blown the bottom out of it. <laughs> there we go. So we'll just sort of take it from there. It's kind of windy out here, so we'll have to possibly even do a voiceover. The, um, it's not in great condition, but eh. I think we can do a fixer-upper on it, and it'll make a nice TV cabinet when it's all said and done. Um, as you can see, it was more like a, a foyer table or something that's fairly high. Here's the whole thing. If you're a woodworker or you like to do a little hobby work with wood and stuff, uh, we've got a lot of technology is kind of conflicting with... Um, modern technology is conflicting with modern furniture. Uh, it seems like the furniture companies are like, you know, behind all the time. And what's happened with myself is, you know, over the years, I, in, in a matter of like a year or two, I went from a 32 inch TV to a 43 inch TV to a 55, 65. I'm not even sure what's on the wall right now. Yeah, it's like, I've lost, I've lost track of it, you know. And uh, unfortunately, the old TV cabinet that we've had for years, it, it, you can put the sound bar on it, and then it's like, that's it. You know, what about the Blu-ray player, the uh, Nintendo setup, the Sony PlayStation, and any other Xbox, anything else you want to throw up there? There's no room. There's no room, you know, because the technology and everything I say has just absolutely baffled things uh, up so badly. So. A TV cabinet now, you sort of need something long, uh, not that wide, maybe 14, 16 inches or whatever, but you need like six or seven feet of TV cabinet to put all that spherical stuff on or devices so that you can, you know, your remotes can activate or deactivate the stuff. And the other problem I ran into with this specific project was uh, I was going to just pick something up and our TV is set at a height that we like. So it's actually around 30, it calls for a cabinet that would be around 32 to 34 inches in height, plus, you know, the devices. Yeah, uh, I couldn't find that, of course. You know, what else is new? So I looked at the furniture and it was, to my uh, surprise, there was some stuff out there, but it was really low, you know, and I was like, I don't want really low furniture. And the other stuff at the other end of the course of selection was really high stuff that was too high that would put the TV, I don't know, up towards the ceiling, too high. So as a woodworking uh, projects guy, whatever, we decided, you know what? Best thing to do is probably just make our own. Now, I'm not gonna take the blame for this. Actually, uh, my brother-in-law has started his and he's making a custom one for his new uh, big screen TV. And so it's really his inspiration that started this off. And once I realized uh, what he was doing, I thought about it, it's like, you know what, that might be the best, that might be the best thing is to just, at this point in, you know, looking at the furniture stores is go get some wood and make one because it just, you need a custom thing, you know, that will work with your living room, your setup. And that sort of was like, oh, so I need something to start with. And uh, I was going to look through some plans, whatever. And then the wife found this thing on online for like 10 bucks. It was like, okay, let's go get it. And, you know, at least we'll have, you know, a skeleton or some bare bones to start with. And then we can build onto it and figure out, well, you know, what to do, how to deal with it. And uh, I'm so far, it's got a, I've had to tear it down. We've got it sanded up a little bit, ready for like a stain. 
but we're also going to enclose it, uh, add an extra, sh well I got to put two shelves in it. The, the bottom shelf was uh, made from that, uh, I'm, I'm trying to come up with a good name for it. I, I want to call it Chinese plywood, but that's not a very nice thing to say I guess about uh, them. Uh, we could call it uh, modern plywood. <laughs> yeah, layers and layers of uh, cardboard and then a very thin uh, wood covering over top of it. So it's going to be weeks. Today, uh, really had some other things and plans, of course, for us guys, you know, to do in the garage, but this popped up out of the blue and it was like, well, you know what, we'll show it right away and just, just let you guys see what I'm working on. I just finished the hardwood flooring. In fact, a day or two ago, we finished doing the baseboarding and uh, the house, that part of the house is, it's done, Ugh, you know, not something I want to repeat anymore. I've, I've just done... I guess about three quarters of this house, and it's a fairly large square footage house, all in hardwood flooring now. And so it's like, okay, we're, we're done with that. The uh, projects now <clears throat> are other projects, of course. I've got some more woodwork to do in, the, in my kitchen and just all kinds of other things going on. But this has been one of those things that uh, has been ongoing. I'll tell you how bad it is for devices. This is almost a joke, but I saw at a junk store some old Pioneer speakers, some great big ones, and the speaker paper was probably, you know, punched out of them kind of thing. So the pair was like five bucks or whatever it was. I bought them just so I had a place to put the Sony PlayStation and the uh, DVD player, so I had a you know, place to put them, you know, in front of the TV where I could access them. That's kind of a sad statement of affairs when you have to buy speakers just for that, you know, because they're a box, you know, so uh, this is going to replace all that junk and make one big table kind of thing and have a couple shelves where we can uh, store the uh, the DVDs, the albums and other other things that we have. But it's going to be ta it's going to take quite a bit of customization work to get to the point of where this is what we, you know, envision. That's what we want. So uh, I'm going to take you through some of the steps. So now right now, I just want you to see what the raw deal is. We'll come back to it as things progress. Probably take a couple of weeks or something and we'll have it all done, I hopefully. Well, maybe a week or two, I don't know, we'll see. Meantime, uh, it's Thursday, and this is probably gonna roll into Friday, unfortunately. Uh, we were, I was really late getting a schedule set today with things going on, because was also we were also working on today, bringing the furniture back to the living room, if you know what I mean, because all the hardwood flooring job is done, well, now all the furniture can come back. We had the furniture, well, my gal, she stuffed the furniture in every other room of the house. We've been tripping over furniture for weeks, you know, while this job went on. So now we're bringing it all back to the living room where it belongs. <laughs> and uh, so that's, you know, again, that's, whew, that's over with. Yay, we're almost over with. Okay, we're back. The battery died again, but I've got, one, two, three, four different battery packs that run this camera system. Anyways, we're gonna give something away that we reviewed. We reviewed this about a month and a half ago, and it's this big, you know, nice electric sprayer. And uh, I'd love to keep it, but uh, you know what? Like I said, everything we review, we'll have a draw for it, and then somebody that watches YouTube gets a chance to own whatever it is we're reviewed. This was this was a really neat little item, this little LED thing. That's <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> and this came from Banggood. Uh, I will supply uh, a link to the description below for banggood.com where this stuff is sourced from. When they have sale deals, that's when you want to really, you know, jump in there and grab something. Uh, I will try to see if I can find you a link for this product. If, it, if the link's not there, I can't do much about it. Uh, Banggood did not know I was going to give this thing away when they shipped it over to us for, for review. We've had a few companies that have been a little shocked uh, at me about, you know, you're going to give it away. Yeah, you know, anything that comes in. We've got some really cool stuff coming in too, uh, by the way, on the way in too. So I've got some nice, interesting things lined up. But in the meantime, sprayer. So the email box the, to enter the contest, you must be in the lower 48. Or Canada okay that's the only open to that that's it and one uh, entry per household you know and what we'll do is in the subject line of your email put sprayer s p r a y e r I'll 
right above me here. Also, it'll be at the usual email box, the Coffee and Tool Rewards at gmx.com. GMX does not have to be in capitals. Somebody asked me that. Uh, so, you know, it's just an email box. And we'll write it out in the body of your letter, just your name and your address. We'll make up little tickets and cut them all, put them in the usual uh, Lowe's uh, bucket, and we'll draw a name, and somebody will get this, you know, they'll win the sprayer next Thursday. So this Thursday, this is what we're giving away for our new tool Thursday thing for that we did a review on. And you, I kept the box, so we'll pack everything back in the box the way it came. I hope I can get it back in that box. It sure don't look like it'll fit, does it? But it, it did, this is, this is the box, so yeah. And when you write your name and your uh, address out, just write it the way you would for the post office for like a, a from, you know, uh, your address, your name and address, that's all. Uh, and zip code, of course. Always include the zip code if you can. We do verify your address before we ship out. Nothing has happened or gone wrong with that. Lucky us. But uh, I do check it right before we send it out. And uh, this is what we're doing this week. And it's, I don't know what the value is, but it's a nice, big, heavy sprayer for somebody. So if you're interested, put your name in for the draw. And next Thursday, we'll pull a ticket. There you go. Fabulous, huh? Yep. Other stuff coming in in the next few weeks. Uh, I think we've got an in impact gun, a really big uh, laser engraver, I believe, coming in with something else there. I think we have another leaf blower. And again, the last leaf blower we had in here was a giveaway, and it was given away locally. But the next one coming in, uh, that that will be same thing on a Thursday. We'll just we'll just give it away. I will generally try to make sure that all the tools coming in for review are given to the viewers of YouTube. So there you go. Meantime, guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, Monday, we'll probably be back on the TV cabinet project. That's going to be a doozy. Thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe. And over and out.